Good morning, friends. Today is uh, Thursday, August 5th, 2021. I'm at the base of uh, Baldi. My intentions are to do north to south Baldi and be back in the car by in seven hours or less. Or I may try to do west Baldi part of it. And if I do that, I like to give myself uh, three hours extra. I've never done West Baldy. I don't know the route. I know that it is very technical, to me at least. So I have no commitment or uh, firmness that I'll get to the summit, but I may explore West Baldy. A lot of traffic is passing by, so I don't know how much has been captured here, but I'll get going. Oh, I also wanted to thank Deepika and her family for letting me drive uh, their car. Uh, my car was having issues and uh, I couldn't come if I didn't have a car. What I realized is that when, not when, uh, it becomes much easier for one to achieve one's goals if they have good friends, good family. And I'm really, really lucky to have Deepika, Jay, Samarth, and everyone in my life. So thank you one more time. Bye. Hello, friends. So this is my break number one. And I'm at the point where there is a two meter, um, like there is a two meter vertical scrambling to be done. I'll show you. I don't know if wind is capturing my comments, but uh, uh, this is kind of doable section. Many people do it, of course, and I'm gonna do it. I'll capture it in my GoPro, and I'll continue walking further up. That is where the summit is. Thank you. All right, friends, so, Let's move to the scrambling section for the two meter and I'm gonna capture it. So this is where you need to go down. Two meter. Many scrambling books refer it as a two meter scrambling section. I would say it's more than two meters, but doesn't matter. What matters is I do it safely and everyone else should also do it safely. I'm just gonna face in. This would be fine. You know, I was thinking I should have brought my approach shoes. So I might have experienced different things in here. Okay, I made it. Now we are gonna go up there. I'll just let the recording continue for a moment and then I'll stop it. So. That is where I was coming from, guys. Okay, let's just do some more. Uh, 
I think I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. No. So GoPro, stop recording. So friends, I made it to the summit of North Bali. It is right here. It took me about two hours and change, like 15 minutes. I want to show you. Wish me luck. Hello friends, I always dedicate my summits to someone special. So this summit of North Baldy, I would like to dedicate to my niece Mangla. Mangla is also my chingu. Uh, in Korean, chingu means uh, good friend. So Mangla, I really want to thank you for who you are and for your charm, for your fun. For your energy for excitement the way you look forward to the things in life the way you respect elders the way you understand things and the way you want to experience things i wish you a life full of so much action that gives you happiness and sense of accomplishment. I also wish you a lot of adventure in your life and I hope you stay safe in every adventure you do and you grow from there. Love you, Mangla. Thank you one more time. So friends, uh, this is uh, Traverse from North Baldy to South Baldy. So that is the ridge walk up to that uh, summit. But before getting to that ridge walk, one needs to pass this uh, interesting section. Let me see if I can find it myself. Okay, I guess I need to go down further. I am sure you guys are not surprised if there is nobody up here. So, so far so good. Now, I am going to turn left to get to the section. Is this the section? Guys, I have to figure it out myself. Oh, I do want to thank Ajay as well for coming with me to this section and giving me so much courage. This is my second time doing this section and the first time I did it with Ajay, who is an amazing hiker. And of course, amazing friend. Okay. I just have to make sure that I, my footing is correct. And also, I find my steps in advance. Because there could be some, uh, some sections which could be point of no return. So this is all doing well. Once I find out how I can get down. Got it. So, am I there yet? 
I think this is it. If I go further down, that is no good. That's all cliff bends. So this is the section, I guess. Shit. Seriously, I did that last time. Wow. All right, friends, wish me luck. No pills, bare hands, so better connection with the rocks or your hand holes. Gish, slow down and watch your steps. Okay. No rush. That's what I tell myself. And Chris reminded me the safety point rule of scrambling. Always three points contact. Means out of two hands and two feet, three must be secure. Then you can move one of those. Okay guys, so now I need to figure it out how to get there. It's so good to have someone more experienced with you who can watch if you're doing the right thing. Oh, I started talking to myself, which is fine. I should give myself a good company. Okay. If I put my left right there, left can go there. Okay, it's a long move. Stabilize. Okay, I think. Got it. You don't think too much, okay? Shit. I'm not breathing heavily, it's just that I want to make sure that I'm not out of breath and I'm not rushing. Okay, next move. So I can go down, then there, and that's crossing. Which, why did I get into crossing? Because that was uh, the only option. Nope. I can put this thing here and this here. Okay. I can move this guy up here like this. So my left foot opens up, but that can go in here. Don't lean in. See, the whole thing moved. So this is why it's important to test before you use your hand holes and foot holes. Peter Lawhead was a good learning for me. And that's a very, very long step. Secure yourself. Don't sit, good. Here, here. Here. All right, guys. So 
That is very wow. Okay, I'll show you more. GoPro, stop recording. So friends, this tree right here used to have a kind of rope that you can hold on to go around. And it seems that rope is gone. Somebody must have taken it out. So I will see if it is doable without the rope. I'm not going to take chances and I'll return from here if I feel it's not doable. As you guys know that I'm not super experienced hiker. So I'm going to go towards it. The scree is kind of loose, but definitely doable. Okay. Seriously, Girish, you want to do it without the rope? Let's see. You have no choice. You should have brought your own rope, but even if you had, how would you tie and untie? Plus, you're not doing formal rock climbing here. It's just some kind of serious scrambling, at least for me. Okay. Oops. All right. Really? Do you really want to go to the other side? Let's see. I don't know if I'll recommend people to do it without the rope being there anymore. This is the tree that had the rope tied to it, which you could use to go around. I was so comfortable until I had that thought in mind that I'm going to just use a rope. The reason rope was there is that thing over there. Okay. So one thing I learned guys I'm gonna make an attempt wish me luck let me see there used to be another rope on the other side that you can grab to get yourself to the other side let's see if it is still there I'm sure the guy who took this rope out would have taken the other thing as well out Can you return Girish if you have to before going further? Which one is a good handhold? This one work. Holy shit. Yep. The guy took the other rope as well. Wow, the other anchor is also gone. So now you guys have to be oh shit this guy moved okay don't hold much girish just move an inch at a time and you'll be there soon you can't go back you know that so okay righty <clears throat> Girish, you are on an angle. Fix it. Got it. Fixed. 
All right, having awareness of your body balance is very important to me. Wow, why would anybody take that anchor out? That was such a good safety and peace of mind for people like me. Anyway, so we have to do it without the anchor. All right, so now, why, 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 whosoever took the anchor out must have a good reason. Okay, good job. See guys, I don't know if you can see that's the anchor, but it has no rope, no sling. Right there. Okay, but I made it. So thank you guys for giving me your wishes. I'm gonna show you some more. I hope camera has enough room to show you some ridge walk as well. So this is definitely not a place to miss your step. GoPro, stop recording. All right, guys. So let's see some more of the ridge walking. So you can guess, assess whether it is for you or not. Okay. The thing is, I love to use my poles but this section is with and without poles. So you got to go up there safely. Am I missing a trail? I don't think so. Okay, one, two, Girish. Watch out. Okay. This should be safe. This. Oh, shucks. Don't look down. Okay. Okay. Right. Oh. So, this is the ridge or part of the ridge. I love to have my poles out. Let's see what I can do. GoPro, stop recording. Friends, if you want to see, where I'm coming from. Oh, by the way, I want to thank the people who made this cairn right on the ridge, showing us that this is the right place to go. But now we have to go down as well, shucks. Anyway, let's look at this. So right up there, that's where I was. I went down to the left of where I was and came down this way. And I'm here. Now, I think I'm gonna get my pole out soon. Maybe after this section. Otherwise, it'll take me forever. That's West Baldy. I don't know how it is gonna work today. Thank you, friends. GoPro, stop recording. Guys, some more element of ridge walking. Oh, I am really, really wanting to have my poles. Um, okay, I think if I do left, no, there. Left, right, no. That's where I want right, that's where I want left, this is where I want right, but shit. Maybe I'll go from this side and I can face in just to save time and thinking. Okay. Okay. Where am I going? I think I'll just stay to the left 
to see if it connects me to the front side. Yes, it did. Wow. Good job, Gish. All right, GoPro, stop recording. So friends, that is the South Baldy. I'm coming from all the way there. And now, last bit is the slabby section. And slabs always require extra attention for obvious reasons. Where should I go from? Okay, let's see if I can cut down. But then I have to come back up. Okay, stay up. Oh, there you go. I found. Okay. Oh. This is the route. Okay. Okay, crossing badly. Mm. Okay. Shit. I shouldn't be saying this word, but okay, Gerish, watch out. You stay safe. What? So, I think this is the narrow section. Made it further. Thank you, South Baldy. Thank you, North Baldy. Thank you, everyone. Okay, so, summit of South Baldy. I don't know if you guys can see the view. If you guys can see, that is a trail. And then you go down the gully. If you go straight up, that's West Baldy. Let's see if I go there and what happens. Thank you again. GoPro, stop recording. Friends, I want to share something very, very amazing that just happened. So this is uh, West Baldy. And this is a trail you can see, but when you go up there, this section, it gets very, very interesting. So I wasn't sure if I should give it a try. Guess what? Lori called out of nowhere. My mentor, my guide, my friend called. And I asked him if I should do it. And he saved me. He said, Girish, uh, um, we shouldn't do it today um, if it is uh, technical, because technical route should be done with a friend or someone who has the technical skills or technical gear. So what I'm going to do now is I'm back to my original challenge not challenge intentions to see if i can finish it in less than seven hours north and south combined so i am oh this is my party time i'm gonna get going in a few minutes i'll just enjoy the summit by myself i really want to thank south baldy north baldy and everyone for keeping me safe all right, guys, thank you so much one more time. Friends, I am on another peak, <coughs> South Baldy. Technically, it's, technically it's a uh, peak or summit, 
so I can dedicate it to someone special one more time but because it's part of the same mountain and I love Chingu my niece so I'm gonna dedicate this peak as well to Mangla so Mangla as much as I have said so many things about you I don't think I could ever run out of good things that I want to say about you I'm just excited to see you growing into a fine person who has a lot of confidence as well as who's gonna do good for so many people in the world I am really really lucky to have your association your friendship and the way you take care of everything Mangla love you Friends, um, I changed my plan. I'm gonna do this scree, which I have never done, and it's not on the official map either on all trails. Uh, I wanted to do something out of my comfort zone today, and Lori suggested not to do West Baldy. So I'm gonna do this scree, and hopefully it works out well for me. I'm gonna go down for seven, eight minutes. The thing is when you take trails that you don't know much about, they may take you to something that you don't prefer or would not want. For example, bushwhacking. And it's quite steep. So hopefully it doesn't take me to any cliff bend or bushwhacking and it meets the main trail eventually. If it's good scree you lose elevation quickly if there is nothing called bad scree okay but if it's a challenging scree then you end up using where okay this side sorry guys So, once we are on three, it takes us down because of gravity and because it's so loose. So, where am I going? I think it should work out. So now the screw has started moving just because I was going so fast. I'm gonna slow down and change if I can, my descent. Otherwise, I can pick up good speed. Okay, guys. Which one? Okay, go there. I'm gonna take a break and take this line. Oops. Girish, you have to go right eventually. Don't keep coming left. This left goes more left. But I guess you can meet up. Okay.
So, one of the reasons I do solo hikes is Okay, move. Okay, you gotta go. You gotta go to the right, no matter what. And catch that one. I think it's doable. Got to the right. Now keep going right. I do see some kind of drainage, but that's far down in the valley. Okay, this is a slabby section. For me, at least. Actually, slab is just sticking out. So, I need to avoid it. Got it. I wanna go to the left. More slabby sections. So stop somehow. Go right. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro start recording. So friends, I have descended more than 100 meters on this creek. You know what it means? It's that much harder to go back up. And I really hope I'm doing the right thing.
GoPro, stop recording. Hello friends, I'm so, so, so very happy that I finished the Traverse under five hours, like four hours, 57 minutes. This is my personal best. Um, I really wanna thank all of you, Laurie and everybody who helps me become better. I am very happy with today. I am going to celebrate and party. Thank you one more time. Bye.